Good morning. I'm Gary Hutchinson. I'm the Legal Practice Director in the Commercial and Property Team at Cook & Hutchinson Lawyers at Redcliffe. My name's Constance McLaren. I'm a solicitor in the Property and Commercial Team here at Cook & Hutchinson Lawyers. Today we're going to talk to you about reverse mortgages. So if you're in the position where you have quite a lot of property and not a lot of cash, some clients of ours are choosing to take out a reverse mortgage. So the way this works is that the bank will take a mortgage over your property. In exchange for this, you'll obtain an amount of cash from the bank. So this is similar to a normal loan. However, you won't have to pay any of the repayments on the loan. So the bank will add interest onto the loan, but that will not be on charge to you until the property is sold. So when you do sell the property, the bank will take the amount that is owed on the loan plus any interest. So because of this structure, it's very important that you obtain your own financial advice before you enter into this arrangement. Isn't that right, Gary? That's very right, Constance. And basically, uh, what you really need to be careful about here is that you are dealing with a legitimate bank or funder. There are a number of loan sharks out there who will tell you they can give you a reverse mortgage. I suggest before you even think about doing this, you go to the Info Choice website and on that Info Choice website, there are a number of banks and financial institutions who are legitimate. The thing is, as Connie has said, that people who are cash poor and asset rich are the ones that this really applies to. The interest rate's a little bit higher, as Connie's also said, and the current rate's around about 6.2 to 6.5%. And as Connie's also said, you don't need to pay one cent back until such time as you either pass on or you sell that property. Now, with um, the reverse mortgage, there's a reverse mortgage calculator on Money Smart, and it will tell you exactly what you are going to pay over the period of the loan. It will show you at the end of year one um, that you owe X amount of dollars, and it will compound until such time as you do sell that property. But as I've said, and as Connie said, you must take independent financial advice and you must take independent legal advice and it's a requirement of the financial institution who does provide you with those funds that you obtain an independent solicitor's certificate and we can provide that for you. So the, the, the uh, word for the day is, if you intend doing a reverse mortgage, by all means come and contact us first. Thank you.